Well, I, I think, like anybody who invents anything, as it were, you, you, you use, um, you know, as many influences, as much influence as you can. And, and my, my sketchbooks and things are just really just a de memoir. I mean, they're, they're, you know, the kind of plinking on a piano of a composer or the, you know, sketches of a painter or the, you know, the, the jottings of a writer. I think it's just what it is. I think, you know, if you're designing, you do that all the time. I mean, I think there are, there are a lot of designers who don't design. Obviously, they, they, they kind of have their name above the door and then everything else comes from a process. But I think, you know, that, that um, you know, even with a, uh, a studio, with a team, with, with craftsmen here, it's, it's kind of like having a, you know, an orchestra that can play anything. Uh, well, as you can see, I normally wear buttons. <laughs> I'm a bad investment for jewelry. I think you know. Actually, it's rather like being a you know, musician. You might have a piano at home, but pe you know, people start saying, you know, give us a song after dinner. Uh, you really don't want to do that. And, and I say I, I tend to wear just a few bits. I wear some stuff experimentally to see if it works and things. Yeah, I mean, men have been getting bold. I mean, there was a sort of uh, absurd renaissance in the sort of seventies of kind of you know. Uh, um, medallion man and that kind of thing. But I think across the board, uh, you know, almost imperceptibly, men have started to wear, you know, kind of, uh, not just different watches and, and, and own more than one watch and, 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 and experiment with that, but, but wear friendship bracelets and bangles and things. And, you know, very straight guys will come back from holiday with four or five little things that, you know, got put on their wrist on the beach by their kids or by, you know, whoever it was, and wear them with some kind of pride. And because they can give themselves an excuse and say, oh, it's just, you know, daughter did them for me or man on the beach did them. Because they can do that, they sort of feel justified. They, they're not, you know, being silly or, or, or you know, too kind of uh, um, artistic, as it were. Well, for, for obviously for weeks at a time, I sold my body uh, <laughs> to keep, um, soul and body together, but um, no, the recession is one of those weird things, but, you know, people talk about a recession, what happens in a recession is bad things, badly made things and things that people don't need at all uh, fall by the wayside. The, the two most important things uh, in any business are common sense and tenacity got to keep at it. You've got to be, uh, you've got to be bright enough to succeed. Uh, and I think, you know, it goes without saying. Uh, talent then is quite important if you're in a creative business. But it's, it's not 100%. It's maybe, you know, 20%. The rest is, is running with the invention and having the tenacity to really, you know, grind it out. I mean, genuinely had so many bizarre requests that it's almost impossible to, uh, you know, to, to to list them. But you know, the, the, it's always kind of the, the last thing we made. We've just done a you know a miner's hat that opens up that has a you know a coal mine inside it as a ring uh, for a, a gentleman who was indeed a coal miner. Um, I just like to think in five years we were making ever better and more experimental stuff and that the business was still working from the inside out, you know, from the heart, which is the studio and the workshop, pumping out really good new creative things. And I'd like that to keep going, to, to have more apprentices learning their craft here, because, you know, a business like this, a really creative business, and an inventive business needs to work that way rather than be the gloss and then work back inwards, which is what happens with so many of the big kind of brands and things. So I, I think I would like just more of the same, but better and better. 
And I guess, um, as far as business is concerned, the proudest achievement is keeping you know, a workshop and a studio like this together for 30 odd years because there are very, very few of them around. And, you know, through thick and thin, um, keeping this kind of thing going is, is you know, is not easy. Winning the, the, the throwing the cricket ball in 1962, um, when I had a bad hand. <laughs> and I didn't tell anybody, I was quite brave about it. Very proud of that. <laughs>